Let's draw a spider. And I'm going to start with the the big abdomen body thing at the back. So it's, it's kind of like an egg shape, I suppose, something like that. And then we're going to want to come sort of around like that. So there's like a semicircle on the top. And then here I'm going to come down and in, down and in like that. And then that will curve up there bring it straight back. So these are the fangs at the front and then we want the pedipalps which are kind of the <laughs> the bits that hold down the prey while they're sucking all the juice out. And then we're going to have some eyes on the front here like that and maybe two or three at the back there. And we're going to have the sort of the one and two and three and a little bit of four. One and two a little bit of four, that's kind of where the legs are going to be coming out. So we want to draw sort of the front leg parts coming out like that. And then another one sort of coming from there. And then we're going to want the, the front bits there. And these little bits, is that fitting on the camera? Just about scopuli. <laughs> scopuli, scopuli. And then we'll have another one sort of coming out here and that will come forward like that and a nice sort of curvy bit. Same coming out here and there and then up a little bit like that, slightly curvy, scopuli. And then this one's one to come into, be coming out a bit like that and then they'll sort of come back like that and then they will also then sort of come down like that little scopuli <laughs> which sort of help them to um, stick to their web and sort of or not stick to them so they can sort of crawl around on their web and and not get stuck to it because that's not going to help a spider much at all Let's put a little bit of kind of hairiness in there. We can maybe have a bit of hairiness in there as well, which will just help there. And then what we could do is just put a little bit, a few little dots on the sides of these legs and on these little parts here, which will just give a bit of sort of sort of thickness to them and sort of 3D-ness. And I'll just zip through all of these now. Hey, while I'm doing that, click the subscribe button and make sure you're subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy for lots more drawing videos every week. You might want to add a bit of hairiness as well, so I'll just zip through all the, the hairy bits. And then we're going to need some sort of pattern on here, so I'm, I'm going to draw these kind of sort of blobby <laughs> bits. So it's kind of kind of like a loopy zigzag as I go all around the outside like that. And another one there. And then we're going to want some sort of patterns down the middle. I'm going to do split that one like that. And then we'll have a sort of a big one and maybe a couple of dots and another thing like that. You can maybe add an extra little bit of shading up on the sides there like that. And you might want to put a little bit of shading around like that, just to give it a bit of a curvy feel. Then all you need to do is add a bit of colour. And there you go, how to draw a spider real easy. Thanks for watching and make sure you're subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.